Before we start the video, just a quick reminder that I do have a Discord server, so if you haven't yet, please join it. We can chat there, and also it's a good way for me to communicate with you in case something bad happens to the channel. If you're interested, the link to it is in the description. Yo, what's up guys? It's World of War 69 and welcome to a new Ninjago video. So today is a video I wanted to make regarding a personal experience I had a long time ago. For any of you who were watching Ninjago at the time, you may remember that season 3 had a horrible airing schedule, at least in the US. The first two episodes released in January, another two in April, then two in July, and the final two in November. It was odd having them spread out so far from each other, but knowing YouTube pirating, some people were able to watch the episodes earlier. Here is what happened. I had a friend at school who was also into Ninjago. We watched pretty much any TV show on cable, and being honest, back then we never considered watching Ninjago on YouTube. In June, me and my classmates left for a really long summer. I eventually watched Enter the Digiverse and Codename Arcturus, and I gotta say that I was in awe of those episodes. I could not wait for what came next. Then August came and school started again. I went looking for my friend on the first day of school so we could talk about Ninjago again, and then guess what he did? He told me, oh hey dude, Zane died. That was a stupid way to get spoiled. I guess you resorted to YouTube pirating. This experience is a clear problem with that. While it is a necessary evil in some people's eyes, unless they shut their mouths about it, it could ruin the experience of cable TV viewers. The Titanium Ninja is a groundbreaking Ninjago episode, probably many people's favorite, and I am so frustrated to have been spoiled of it. Once I did get to see the episode, it was still great, but it wasn't the same knowing the final outcome. Don't get me wrong, I don't think this is an average episode. Even after getting spoiled, I still think it is fantastic, perhaps even my favorite, but it will never impact me as much as most of you because of that lacking initial reaction. That's all I have to say. Have you ever been spoiled of a Ninjago episode or just spoiled of something in general? How did that affect you? Please let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear your own experiences. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.